Welcome everyone to HFN, also known as Houston News. Today is the 25th day of May 2021, and we are here to give you another stock that we are anticipating to drop in price, right? Now, before I tell you that, before we look at another confusing chart, I want you all to, if you really appreciate these videos and the content that we are creating, that you hit the like button, share, and also subscribe here to this channel if you want to learn more. We're going to give you all sides of the market. We're going to tell you when a stock is going to go higher. We're going to tell you when a stock is anticipated to go lower. And we'll also tell you when we don't expect to see anything, where the market is just expected to trade sideways, just so that we can get in position and win in whatever direction the market goes. We're in this space to take advantage of the trap, right? We're here to get in position and win from wherever he takes the price. If you want to learn more, if you want to make sure that you are always in position to win, you need to join us. So hit the like button, share and subscribe to this channel in order to join this powerful community. We're here to dominate this space just as everyone else is. So if you're new to the market, I want you all to realize that no one has your interests at heart. They have their own interests in front of yours. So when you look at these videos on YouTube, when you read articles in mainstream media or other financial articles, keep in mind that they have their own agendas as well. And that no one is really in position to try to get you what you're asking for. You have to be on your own. So if you want to join this community, you won't be on your own because we'll tell you where we're expecting these prices to go so that we all can win within our own community. This is what we're building. So if you want to join us, hit the like button, share and subscribe and follow us. So this is another stock that we track down and expect to go lower in price. This is a VF Corporation. VFC is the ticket symbol. Now, before I break down why we're looking for this stock to go lower, I want you all to look at this chart right here. This is another reason why people lose in the markets It's because you have this mass confusion going on on price charts think about this when you go into any store right do you see all of this analysis when you want to go in and purchase some clothes and you go to the shelf in the store do you see all of this analysis do you even do all of this analysis when you go in and purchase some clothes out a retail store do you? You do not. So why would you come into the stock market and expect to do the same thing? Why would you try to place more burdens on yourself just to see what the price is, if it's cheap or if it's not? It doesn't require all of this confusion is all I'm saying. You need to treat this. You need to treat the stock market just like any other retail store. If you don't input a lot of research into determine if one particular type of garment is a buy why would you do it when you try to purchase a stock when you see this type of confusion you need to be wary more confusion means more losses because you have no idea what the market is anticipated to do I mean take a look at this chart he has triangles numbers letters horizontal lines two indicators at the bottom and if you're not an avid technical analyst you even don't even understand what he wrote here in the comment section right here this bat the PCZ which is now support used to be major resistance bullish divergence on four hour and development on the daily if you don't do technical analysis you're completely lost already this is why we don't push this this is why we don't push confusion on charts is because it's not supposed to be. Have you ever thought about the reason why they created all of these tentacle indicators is to make sure that you stay confused. Have you ever thought about that? And that these tentacle indicators may not be used as a guide or assist you to win in the market. Maybe it was created to confuse the mess out of you so that you can lose just think about that so now let's talk about VFC real quick 
And you guys can see here that this market in DFC, first of all, has been topping its head off at a restriction area. And I'm going to show you where that price level is. And it's over here, okay? So around $90.50 is where this market in VFC for some apparent reason, which we do know, it cannot break above, right? That's one of the biggest reasons as to why this market in VFC is weak. And we're anticipating the market to continue to give us lower price. So let's switch it over to a longer time frame. And you guys can see here that this market in VSC is increasing in volume and we're definitely seeing weakness come through. So the only thing we really need to come into determining is where the market support can be in VFC. That's it. There's no doubt that this market here is weak. Three day time frame. Again, determining where market weakness or support can be found in VFC. Now I'm already seeing around $70 as that area, or like $73 as that area of support into the market in VFC. This is the weekly time frame. Okay, just start out a new week. Still seeing the market here in VFC as giving us weakness here. And we might see the market try to come in and hold $75.25 as support. But what occurred last week, I'm not really expecting that market to hold there. Then the next level would be $72.50. All the way down to 70, yeah, $72.50. So let me go ahead and put this on the chart now. Okay, we said that 72.50 is where we're looking for the market to try to come in and hold support. So that's at least like another five and a half percent market weakness for this stock to go down. Okay. Now there's two areas of restriction way below our current overall restriction point in VFC. 84, then right here around 80, okay? So I'm gonna bring this one down here towards $84. So let's check this out on a three-week time frame, okay? This again is giving us a lot of weakness here. Now, from a three-week perspective, if you're gonna stay inside a market for three weeks, this one tells me that 7250 doesn't even look like it's gonna hold neither. And that the next level would be around 68, 70 dollars. Okay. So we're playing this from a longer term perspective. Three weeks, you know, to see this market in VFC move. We're not playing this on a daily time frame. This prediction is more geared towards three weeks, five weeks, you know, monthly time frame, give or take, to allow this to come to fruition. Okay. Because this is the monthly right here. So we're going to anticipate this stock to continue to go lower. First area of TP would be 7250, right? We already identified that as a logical area to see the market hold support. That will give us what? About five and a quarter percent profitability in the weakness. But for the long term, I wouldn't even be surprised for the market to come down to 69, 70 dollars right there. And that's it. As you can see, we didn't speak in a language that you didn't understand. We didn't show you anything that was hard to comprehend. Would you rather trade this way or would you rather see the market this way? Let me know. And also tell me um, one stock that you think is a sell as well. Uh, one thing that we wanted to do on this channel is to, is to give you all different viewpoints of the market, right? There's enough individuals who only push one narrative in stock market and it's the buy side. They never give you the opportunity to show you which stock is going to go down or that they anticipate to go down. So I want you all to try to get your mind conditioned to seeing all sides of the market because whenever you enter a store, you should already automatically tell which stock is a buy and which one is a sell. You should know it. 
and everything is not always a buy. So tell me which stock do you think is a major sell in your book from your perspective that you would like to short or that you will come in and try to sell because you think the price is going to continue to go lower. Just let me know. Make sure you maintain a profitability. And as always, trade different.